So we're celebrating Science Week, chatting to our researchers uh, around Australia. And right now I'm speaking to ACES Research Fellow, Dr. Alexandra Simonoff from our Monash University node. How are you going, Sasha? Going pretty good, Sam. That's good. And thanks for joining me. And I wanted to start by asking you and celebrating uh, Science Week with the area of research um, you're currently looking into. Our group is majorly looking at one of the most exciting part of the research we can think of these days. It's called solar fuels. And in essence, this means that we are converting solar into fuels as follows from the name. So, and we really, we firmly believe, and there is some support of this belief from the strong industrial interest, interest, industrial interest in our work that this is really important to Australia and the whole world. So, I have to ask you because it's Science Week, what attracted you to a career in science and this area of research? The internet connection is as stable as usual, but as far as I understood, you asked me what attracted me in the career of science. And this is actually a quite an easy question because I have been born and grown up and spent most of my life in the place which is called uh, Akadem Gorodok in the center, in the geographical center of Russia. And if you translate it to English, it would essentially mean uh, a, sci uh, a little town of, town of scientists. So, and the name speaks for itself. So it's a uh, quite a small town next to the huge city, which was essentially built around the university, surrounded by 30 or more research institutes. We had our, we have our own synchrotron there. So essentially everything was created there to do science. And uh, my parents were scientists. They left, spent most of their life there. So. I didn't have pretty much choice. So science was surrounding me, me from the very beginning of my life. So that's why I chose science. Why chemistry? It's a bit more specific question because initially I wanted to do maths more, but I think interest in math supports what I'm doing currently in chemistry because I'm able to calculate values much faster than many other chemical chemists. But uh, chemistry attracted me because again, it is, I believe what is the whole nature of things is built around, not that fundamental as uh, physics, not as natural as biology, but something in the middle that connects essentially everything. What would be the favorite part of your job in research? Favorite part of my job in research is frankly uh, talking and working together with uh, our younger researchers, students, undergraduate students, PhD students, postdoctoral researchers. So frankly, this is what I'm most missing these days, being locked down at home and not being <laughs> able to communicate with the team all the time. This is what I'm really missing. And this is obviously the, my most favorite part of research. So engaging and talking with the younger next generation. So finally, speaking of younger researchers there, I'm wondering if you can finish this interview by um, offering some advice to uh, future scientists out there that you know, might want to get into a similar sort of line of, of research. My advice, work hard, not very original advice, but it always <laughs> works. Speaking frankly, really work hard. If you're really interested in science, don't listen to those who are telling you that no, this is not the best career, uh, career pathway. It is if you are genuinely interested in science. So if you're successful, and this is not something entirely uncommon. So if you're successful, you will enjoy and by the end of, uh, from the very beginning until the end of your life, not working at all because doing something that you're really interested in, that you are really passionate about, is not your work anymore. It's just your life. So you will not be working. You will get in a lot of pleasure from what you're doing and uh, you will get paid for it as well. And additionally, you'll get a chance to travel throughout the world as soon as the borders are open. <laughs> Some great advice. Thanks for joining us for Science Week and um, all the best as you continue to go through lockdown in Melbourne. Thanks a lot, Sam.